14, AC circuits, part 3, phase relationships in a RC circuit. Resistors in AC circuits like this. The resistor voltage and current in the circuit are always in phase. That means when one is maximum, the other one is also maximum. So if we look at the graph here, that is a sign curve for the current. That's a sign curve for the voltage. They are in phase. And here, look, look at the phasor diagram. That phasor is for the voltage. That long phasor is for the current. They rotate together. Phase relationship between capacitor voltage and resistor voltage. From these two sign curves, you can tell that they are out of phase by a quarter of a cycle. When one is maximum, the other one is minimum or zero, and vice versa. Resistor and capacitor phases. Instead of analyzing sine curves, we use rotating phases. This is the current phaser, which is always in this position at time equal to zero. Same with the resistor voltage, always in phase with the current phaser. And the capacitor voltage is always lagging behind the resistor voltage by a quarter of a cycle. This diagram is showing that the resistor voltage and the capacitor voltage add up to the supply voltage, voltage from the power supply. In this circuit here, the capacitor voltage is given, resistor voltage is given, and you have to find out the supply voltage by using vectors. And also you have to find out the phase difference between the supply voltage and the resistor voltage. Trigonometry.